Hello, welcome to another IELTS essay writing video. Today we are going to write an academic essay from start to finish in response to a question that was seen in both Kuching, Malaysia and also in Sydney, Australia on September 16th. 2011. If you find this video helpful, I encourage you to visit my websites, my blog at IELTSIELTS.com, and a new website I have, um, which is attracting students and a few instructors from around the world, a chat website, IELTS-chat.com. Let's look at the question as it was seen uh, a few days ago. Children who are disinterested in subjects such as mathematics and philosophy should not be made to study them at school. These subjects should be optional rather than compulsory. To what extent do you agree or disagree? I'll let you read the question to yourself. Okay, let's discuss the question. The opening part here is pretty straightforward. I just said a little bit of background information uh, saying that if a child is disinterested for whatever reason in certain subjects, now they give it the example of mathematics and philosophy, um, but that doesn't mean that in our essay we have to focus on only these two areas because they're saying uh, subjects such as, which means you know there are other subjects that would fall into this category as well of uh, subjects that students might be disinterested in. Uh, so the, the question is saying that, that um, these children should not be forced to study uh, subjects they are not naturally interested in at school. Um, then the second part of it reads, these subjects should be optional rather than compulsory. The question portion of this task reads, to what extent do you agree or disagree? And here we have the phrase, to what extent, which might confuse some people, um, but this is just asking what degree or how much do you agree and how much do you disagree? And as always, we're going to, for the sake of our mark, choose to agree 100% or disagree 100%. We're not going to choose a position in the middle as uh, those kind, kinds of positions are difficult to write and will most likely cause us to make grammatical errors and um, awkward wording choices. Okay, now that we understand what the question is asking, let's do a quick brainstorm together before starting our essay. Now we're going to try to think of some points that support the idea that disinterested students do not have to study the subjects that they um, they are not interested in and some points that refute this. So firstly if we think of reasons uh, that would support this so for one um, perhaps a benefit to allowing students to study only the subjects they're interested in is that it would allow them to focus on areas that they are naturally drawn to um, and would allow them to kind of develop those areas instead of, you know, some might argue, instead of wasting time on subjects that they really will not pursue later in their lives. So um, perhaps we might say that it allows them, uh, it allows them to focus on 
on areas they find enthralling. Enthralling is, just means sort of like um, interesting or fascinating. Allows them to focus on areas they find enthralling. Uh, now, a second benefit um, in this point of view is that it could reduce the size of classes. So if you think about, uh, you know, if there's a class of, say, 30 students, and eight of those students have little or no interest in the class, well, you know, removing those eight students from the class could be a beneficial thing, as this would, you know, it would reduce the size of the class, and um, and may also weed out a few of the of the problematic students that are, are maybe uh, maybe ca uh, maybe causing disruptions in the class because they're they're simply not interested. So another benefit could be something along the lines of uh, maybe it would help to reduce help to reduce uh, class sizes um, and weed out disruptive students, perhaps. Yeah, help to weed out the disruptive students. So those are our points that are in support of this. Let me just put in a page break to help us organize this a bit better. Okay, now on the refute side, so what are some reasons why students um, should be made to study certain subjects that perhaps they don't have natural interest in. Um, so perhaps one thing could be, and I think most people would agree with this, that often when you're young, um, y you know, uh, th there are many things that you don't really know about yourself yet. So, for example, if you're only, say, say 12 years old or 14 years old, uh, you, you may find one area of study totally disinteresting. But who knows, uh, you know, a couple of years in the future, this might become something that, that, you, um, that you find more enthralling. So, for example, um, someone who is studying um, a subject that they're, you know, not naturally drawn towards, after a few years, you know, their character develops and their situation changes and, and perhaps they decide that this is a, uh, an area that, um, that they would like to pursue after all. And at that point, they'd be thankful that they were, in a way, forced to study um, a little bit about this area in their younger years. So let's say something along the lines of perhaps uh, different courses... Uh, and, I don't know, let me just uh, back up here a second. Uh, experimenting with different courses, let's say. Experimenting with... This is getting awkward. Experimenting with different courses. Um, different courses helps people realize their strengths, maybe. Realize their strengths. I'm sure most people have some personal example where in their, in their childhood they studied one thing that they found totally boring, and then, you know, when they finally decided to go to university or, or, or whatever, or even to, you know, pursue a career, uh, this thing that they, they once found totally disinteresting becomes quite central to their, to their later work. So that could be the first point. Uh, secondly, um, I think most people would also agree that having a basic understanding of certain subjects is essential, uh, you know, whether, whether you like those subjects or not. Of course, one of those being mathematics, of course. So, you know, students who decide to stop their, their mathematics studies prematurely uh, might find it very difficult to engage the world um, when they finally finish their education. Uh, so let's try something like uh, having a basic understanding of, we'll say, certain subjects. Subjects is essential for life, we'll say. 
the life. I mean, of course, another la uh, another subject could be language, whether uh, you know, depending on what language you're you're studying in your home country, it's it's um, it's important to know how to read and write in some kind of language. So there we have it. We have uh, a couple of points for support, a couple of points for refute. Now all we have to do is decide uh, which of the of uh, these points of view is easier to write as an essay. And as I've I've told you before in previous videos. On our examination, our ALT examination, we want to choose the easier essay to write. We're, we're, we're doing this examination because we want to score a good mark. So sometimes that can go against maybe what we personally believe, but, um, but we're, we're in this game to score a good mark, and that's what we're going to try to do. Now, when I look at the two sides here, Personally, I feel that the refute side would probably be more, would probably be easier to argue, uh, simply because this is the system that is in place in in the world today, where you know any country you go to, students have to study a a certain number of courses. Many of those courses they they find is interesting. So let's say that we're going to go with our uh, refute side here, and that we're going to refute the idea that young people can stop um, studying certain courses based on their disinterest in them. Okay, so now let's uh, get to the essay itself. Now let me insert a page break here. Okay. Okay. So now we want to give a little bit of background information. And perhaps we can talk a little bit about uh, the process of growing up and uh, Um, you know, maybe how how growing up, it uh, when you're growing up, it's important to perhaps experiment with different things to develop yourself as a as an individual. So let's start maybe with something like part of the process of growing up is part of the process of growing up is developing oneself. Uh, as an individual. Okay, very general opening sentence. We are just, you know, we haven't talked about anything specifically to do with with education or, or course selection among young people. Uh, and then let's just tie in the idea of maybe experimentation. Uh, by experimentation, I mean having young people try a variety of courses, not just the courses that they are interested in. So uh, maybe an essential key in doing this is experimentation, experimentation in course study. An essential key in doing this is experimentation in course study. Okay, so what you can see here is that in the second sentence we have made, uh, we have started to narrow down on what it is we're going to argue in this essay. So we've started very broad, uh, we've become much more narrow in this next sentence. Now we're going to uh, pinpoint the actual argument that we're going to make, and this will be in response to our essay question. So maybe we would say something like, it is thus disagreed that uh, that children who find certain who find certain subjects, we'll say, in school disinteresting. Uh, should be allowed to, uh, we'll say, defer their study of them. 
It is thus disagreed that children who find certain subjects in school disinteresting should be allowed to defer their study of them. Okay. Now, before we go on to our outline sentence, I just want to point out a few things I've done here, which you've probably already noticed. Uh, I'm trying to include cohesion so that my ideas kind of link together as, as you read through uh, the sentences. So firstly, we had an opening sentence. In the second sentence, I used the word this, so an essential key in doing this, which refers us back to what was said in this opening sentence. In the thesis, I, I even linked the thesis to the sentences that came before by writing, it is thus disagreed. So thus, this tells us that there, you know, there have been ideas presented before it, and because of the, those ideas, uh, this is something that is being stated as a truth. It is thus disagreed that children who find certain subjects in school disinteresting should be allowed to do further study of them. Now, we're going to share our two outline sentences. Uh, so let's just do what we normally do, which is this will be shown. This will be shown by looking at how trying a variety Oop, yeah, variety of uh, different courses. Now, our point was that trying many different courses can help a person realize their strengths. So, trying a number of different courses uh, so it can help a person person realize their strengths and. Uh, our second point was um, how having a basic understanding of certain subjects is essential for life, like we mentioned mathematics and language. So how uh, how having how having a basic understanding of certain subjects subjects is essential for life. Or essential, we'll say, say, essential for one's life. For one's life. Okay, so let's read through the opening paragraph together, and you will see how the sentences flow together and link, and how our introduction paragraph acts as kind of a road map for the rest of the essay. Here we go. Part of the process of growing up is developing oneself as an individual. An essential key in doing this is experimentation in course study. It is thus disagreed that children who find certain subjects in school disinteresting should be allowed to defer their study of them. This will be shown, more cohesion, this will be shown, by looking, at how to try, uh, by looking at how trying a variety of different courses can help a person realize their strengths and how having a basic understanding of certain subjects is essential for one's life. Okay, let's go to our first supporting paragraph, which as you know will, uh, will be about trying a variety of courses to help someone discover what subjects and uh, what areas of study they are naturally interested in and good at. Firstly, uh, so let's say something along the lines of forcing students to study a variety of uh, a variety of I'll use subjects before, let's try courses. A variety of courses, regardless of their interest, of their interests, helps, helps these young people um, realize strengths they perhaps did not know they had. Firstly, forcing students to study a variety of courses regardless of their interests helps 
these uh, young people realize strengths they perhaps did not know they had. So by pushing young people to study certain subjects, uh, you can help them to um, realize perhaps things that they are good at that they did not know that they are good at. Now I'm going to share a personal example of this. Um, I'm going to share the example of studying uh, the English language in Canada when I was younger and how maybe initially as a young person, like most students, you're not completely interested in that. I wasn't very interested in it and then as time went on um, I realized that it was something I was good at and then I built a career around it. So for example, as a young person in Canada, I'll see, uh, it was compulsory, compulsory for me to study English. I'll say English writing. English writing. And now let me point out that like many of the other students, like many of the other students, I initially found this area of study, this area of study, um, perhaps even use the word boring. But quickly realized, quickly realized, um, quickly realized I had a natural strength in uh, in this, I used area once before, let me just change very quickly. I initially found this, uh, let's say, course of study, and just put the area in here, uh, strength in this area. Okay. Uh, then I'll just add in here that this ultimately led me to a career uh, teaching English. English, which has been both uh, both um, let's say stimulating, both stimulating and rewarding. Okay, now. Let's tie this back to our thesis. So as my experience shows, uh, students initially disinterested, disinterested, in certain subjects should not immediately be permitted to, I'll say, bypass them. As my experience shows, students initially disinterested in certain subjects should not immediately be permitted to bypass them. Okay, let's just read the uh, paragraph from the top. Firstly, forcing students to study a variety of courses regardless of their interests helps these young people realize strengths they perhaps did not know they had. Maybe I'll even change this to possess. For example, as a young person in Canada, it was compulsory for me to study English writing. Like many of the other students, I initially found this course of study boring, but quickly realized I had a natural strength in this area. 
This ultimately led me to a career teaching English, which has been both stimulating and rewarding. As my experience shows, students initially disinterested in certain subject uh, in certain subjects should not immediately be permitted to bypass them. Okay, very easy paragraph. I uh, simply stated what we are going to talk about. I gave a personal example. I discussed my personal example and how it led me um, to something good, something positive. And then in the end here, I have linked this paragraph back to my thesis and shown how uh, the entire paragraph supports the argument of the essay. Let's continue to our second supporting paragraph. So maybe we'll just use a little linking phrase, a little linking phrase here. Additionally, um, now our second idea was along the lines of certain basic subjects should be considered essential for one's life. Mathematics, we'll say, is our example here. Mathematics uh, is a good example here. Okay, uh, this paragraph is going to be quite easy to write. I think everybody would agree that mathematics is something that no one, no matter your background or situation in life, can live without. Um, so let's just state that then very clearly. No one on the planet lives through life without using mathematics at one time or another. Thus, now we just want to state here that um, that because people use mathematics, you know, pretty much every day in their life, to allow students to discontinue their study of mathematics prematurely simply because they are disinterested in the subject is doing them um, a disservice. This is not doing something helpful for that person, but actually this is doing something that is that could harm them and, uh, and their abilities uh, when they reach adulthood. So thus, to provide young people, provide young people with an option to discontinue their arithmetic, uh, oops, arithmetic, uh, their we'll say their studies in arithmetic studies in arithmetic prematurely is doing these people a great disservice. Okay, now just linking it back to our thesis as this shows. should never be allowed to interrupt their studies in certain core subjects, certain core subjects based on disinterest. Okay. Let's go just to the top of that paragraph and run through it together. 
Additionally, certain basic subjects should be considered essential for one's life. Mathematics is a good example here. No one on the planet lives through life without using mathematics at one time or another. Thus, to provide young people with an option to discontinue their studies in arithmetic prematurely is doing these people a great disservice. So we're saying if you allow somebody to decide to stop their studies in mathematics, you are actually allowing them to hurt themselves. As this shows, youths should never be allowed to interrupt their studies in certain core subjects based on disinterest. Okay, now let's uh, conclude our essay with a little summary. So, um, so as the above, uh, we'll call it a discussion. I know some people might feel that this is misleading or, or confusing, but when I use the word discussion here, I just mean that you know we've talked about these these uh, we've talked about this topic today. We've looked at different parts of this topic, so we've we've kind of um, made a discussion on the on the subject. That doesn't, you know, it has no reference to the, a discussion essay style of writing. Uh, so as the above discussion has shown, students around the world should, uh, we'll say, not be permitted to alter their, alter their early uh, studies on the basis on the basis of disinterest. Um, and now we're, let's uh, conclude uh, with a, a hope. So maybe we can start it is hoped. The, the manner in which courses are offered uh, courses are offered I think in you know among most countries maybe not all countries but most countries today the core courses cannot be changed students must study certain certain topics so I'm not sure so much about um, the developing world, but we'll just refer to the developed world. So in which courses are offered uh, in the developed world, uh, never changes. Okay. So, as the above discussion has shown, students around the world should not be permitted to alter their early studies on the basis of disinterest. It is hoped the manner in which courses are offered in the developed world never changes. Okay, now let's go back up to the top. We'll read the essay once through together. And I will also do a quick word count here. Let's see if we're in the ballpark. 297 words, which is probably a little bit longer than than we'd ideally want. So I think we're shooting for maybe around 280 or even 270, but it's all right. It's not too long. Part of the process of growing up is developing oneself as an individual. An essential key in doing this is experimentation and course study. It is thus disagreed that children who find certain subjects in school disinteresting should be allowed to defer their study of them. This will be shown by looking at how trying a variety of different courses can help a person realize their strengths and how having a basic understanding of certain subjects is essential for one's life. Firstly, forcing students to study a variety of courses regardless of their interests helps these young people realize strengths they perhaps did not know they possess. For example, as a young person in Canada, it was compulsory for me to study English writing. Like many of the other students, I initially found this course of study boring. 
but quickly realized I had a natural strength in this area. This ultimately led me to a career teaching English, which has been both stimulating and rewarding. As my experience shows, students initially disinterested in certain subjects should not immediately be permitted to bypass them. Okay, good point there. Additionally, certain basic subjects should be considered essential for one's life. Mathematics is a good example here. No one on the planet lives through life without using mathematics at one time or another. Thus, to provide young people with an option to discontinue their studies in arithmetic prematurely is doing these people a great disservice. As this shows, youths should never be allowed to interrupt their studies in certain core subjects based on disinterest. As the above discussion has shown, students around the world should not be permitted to alter their early studies on the basis of disinterest. As a result of being unenthusiastic, it is hoped the manner in which courses are offered in the developed world never changes. Okay, that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for listening.